Hey, hey everybody, it's Overkill here with a brand new video from Total War Warhammer. So today, Abarash, the first of the Blood Dragons, has returned. And here he is. Um, so Abarash is a pretty power, um, pretty famous character in the Warhammer Fantasy lore. Um, currently, well, actually forever, I suppose, because Warhammer Fantasy lore does not exist really anymore. Um, at the time of the end times, he has um, kind of disappeared. Uh, he's been he's been gone for like hundreds of years, and um, yeah, that's all that's really known about him now. It's just he was a really big badass, but now someone has taken their time to make a mod about him, and here he is. So you can see he has a two-handed sword, and he is accompanied by his footmen, uh, well, his foot blood dragons. And you can see a cavalry engagement has already begun. I wasn't even able to tell the, I wasn't even able to tell you guys the scenario that's happened. Well. An Imperial army has went into Schwarzhafen, and they have found a host lined up against them. And they think it's going to be an easy fight. They see the numbers, they see it's not much, but then they see the blood red armor, and they know what they're up against. An army of blood dragons, and none other than Abarash is leading them. But of course, the commanders don't know that. They don't even know what Abarash would look like. They don't even know who he is. But he is a force to be reckoned with. As you can see, he just chopped that demigriff down. Uh, that Demigriff Rider down to size. Now you can see his fight, his deadly warriors are now fighting in an absolute just mosh pit. Blood Knights are fighting left and right everywhere. You can see this, for this force of cavalry has flanked around. And they are going to be charging into the rear. This is going to be an absolutely devastating charge. Oh! Look at that. With the blood pack. Absolutely beautiful charge here. You can see Blood Knights fighting everywhere. Abarash is in the center of these spearmen. Apparently not attacking. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, well. But you can see the Blood Knights over here are just carving through the Imperial soldiers. Absolutely brutal. Over here, more cavalry and foot Blood Knights are fighting. Blood is just flying everywhere. Blood is being spilled in large quantities this day. This Imperial Army thought they were in for an easy fight. You can see just how long the battle lines are from this Imperial Army fighting these this small amount of Blood Knights. Absolutely brutal fighting going on. Now if we could if we could find Abarash again, that would be a lovely there he is. He's fighting the Imperial one of the Imperial generals. Will he be able to get into a duel with him? We shall see. Oh, a big hit there, sending many of his own men flying. Oh, more friendly fire here going on than actual uh, killing of my Blood Knights, which is pretty interesting. You can see just a, a deadly duel between these two great warriors. But of course, Abarash is definitely the better warrior here. Demigriffs have intercepted them, which isn't very good. They're pushing him away from the enemy general. But oh well. His Blood Knights are doing very, very good work against this Imperial Army, as you can see. Uh, these great swords are mixed in. They still don't even stand a chance. Even with their impressive training, they still don't stand a chance. You can see not many Blood Dragons are left over here, but they're still holding their own against these Imperial troops. Of course, uh, being Vampire Count units, they do not break. And these units are very hard to make crumble, especially with Aberash himself uh, in the mix. Definitely uh, not an easy feat. Oh, he just cut that guy's arm off. Oh my gosh. Absolutely brutal. The enemy general is still in the thick of it, but a path has been cleared. His blood knights are now stabbing him in the back while Aberash takes him in the front. Oh, but the enemy general is a coward. And he runs back behind his own men. Aberash tries to give chase, but the imperial ranks are just too thick. So he must start fighting again. More Blood Knights are just fighting over here. Absolutely awesome. The Demigriffs have been crushed, finally. And they are now retreating. You can see over on this side of the battlefield, it's going quite well for the, uh, the Blood Dragon Knights. They're making their way over to these crossbowmen that have been giving them a bit of a hard time. You can see a few Blood Dragons going down. But here we go. This is what, this is what the, uh, the Blood Dragons were waiting for, was a chance to charge into these guys. Oh my god. 
cavalry charges are just so satisfying. And here there they go, even into the second unit. Look at that! Oh, that was awesome. Just those those Imperial soldiers just being impaled on those lances. So we come back over to the fight. You can see many of the blood dragons have been struck down. But at what cost? Thousands of Imperial lives have been lost already. Which is absolutely brutal. You can see over here they're still fighting. Blood dragons absolutely everywhere. And many of the Imperials are starting to lose their nerve. Many more have charged back into the fight though. Spear in hand, they are charging back into that fight. But you can see the Blood Dragons have actually managed to beat back most of the units here. And now they're engaging these elite Reichsguard Knights. Absolutely brutal. Oh, we have another charge over here by my Knights. Boom, look at that. More men sent flying. Decapitated, impaled, anything. And yep, you can see the Imperial Army is now in full flight. An absolutely deadly battle um, and a huge loss for the Imperials. <laughs> Let's take a look at how they did. Um, you can see Aberash himself is a reskin of uh, Manfred. Of His stats are a little bit changed though. Um, but he got 26 kills, but that's because he was mostly fighting the uh, enemy general. But yeah, And then you can see the absolutely deadly results of these blood, dra uh, blood knights. Absolutely devastating. Um, very impressive. <laughs> and then just the kills of the Imperials, they didn't really get to do that much, um, as you can see. I did give them mostly spearmen, but that was just for, you know, to have some fun with this. They did manage to lose 315, though, mostly. Um, actually, no, it was a bit of a mix of both. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below, as always. And if you're enjoying um, these Warhammer uh, videos, make sure you subscribe, because there's going to be more coming out every couple of days. Uh, this has been Overkill as always, and I'll see you next time. Bye.